How can we protect our hard-won beeswax comb when it's not being patrolled and protected by bees? When it's off the hive, it's in danger from wax moth larvae, who particularly like to chew through brood combs. Equipment not on the hives in warm months is more and more likely to fall prey to wax moths as the season progresses. In cold areas, you can leave your equipment for freezing weather to control the moths, or you can use a freezer, or as I'll show you, wax moth crystals or wax moth larvicide. I'll show you a few frames with varying amounts of damage. This one, the bees can clean up. It's minor webbing. You could help them by pulling it off. Under this webbing is good comb. As opposed to this frame, under this webbing here is bare plastic foundation and I wouldn't reuse this frame. This one is definitely too damaged to reuse. The last one here is actually a few kinds of mold surrounded by moth damage. These kayak shaped carvings in the woodenware were made by the moth larvae prepping to spin their cozy cocoons. To stop progression of a mild case of moths or to prevent damage, stack your boxes of comb on an outer cover or other very flat surface. Five deeps or seven mediums full of comb and use a shim or similar item at the top. I always put the plug in my shims inside so that they don't interfere with the easy placement of the outer cover. Here are the moth crystals, paradichlorobenzene or PDB. Use two tablespoons. Do not use naphthalene, the normal moth balls or moth crystals sold for common household use. They will hurt your bees later on when your bees work on the wax. Sometimes I use a double screen board instead of a shim. The idea is to get a stack of five deeps or seven mediums sealed tightly at the bottom and top. Look for cracks where the boxes don't sit tightly on each other. Tape up cracks and holes so that the PDB fumes don't just escape. The tape is not to stop moths from getting in. In fact, their tiny eggs are already laid. Greg is spraying these frames with Sertan, also known as B402 wax moth larvicide. It kills wax moth larvae when they eat the wax because of a bacteria in the mix. This never affects bees because they're not related to moths. Store the frames in their hive bodies or supers when you're done spraying them. This small bottle was mixed with 95 ounces of water. We filled up the little bottle 19 times with water after pouring the B402 into a pail. These 100 ounces will treat 100 deep frames or 150 medium frames. It also comes in a larger bottle. It's important to understand taping up a stack or bagging your boxes or keeping frames in a giant rubber tote will not stop eggs from hatching. It will not stop the larvae from growing either. Only freezing or treating with PDB or treating with Sertan will kill moths and moth larvae. When you're ready to use your frames that were treated with PDB moth crystals, let them air out for a few days first. If you used B402 larvicide, you can use the frames right away. Just put them on your hive.